Hi, I'm Carl Winter. I'm an Extension Food Toxicologist at the University of California at Davis, and I'm also an IFT Food Science Communicator. Some pesticides are permitted for use in organic farming, provided that they are approved by the National Organic Standards Board. This doesn't necessarily mean that an organic producer will be using pesticides, just as even though many pesticides are allowed for, con for conventional farmers to use, it doesn't mean that they're going to be using all of those. The choice of using a pesticide depends upon whether or not you have a particular pest pressure that you need to control, so an insect, a weed, a plant disease, and whether it's economically viable to do that, whether you're an organic farmer or a conventional farmer. There are differences between some of the organic pesticides and the ones that are allowed for use in conventional farming. Many of the organically approved pesticides tend to be naturally occurring. Uh, as a result of that, sometimes they're not as effective in pest control as their synthetic counterparts. Sometimes they break down very rapidly in the environment and have to be used more times than the pesticides used by synthetic uh, producers. For both organic and conventionally approved pesticides, the amounts that we're exposed to as consumers are very, very tiny amounts, far lower than the amounts that might cause harm when given to laboratory animals. As an example, if we were to take laboratory animals and give them one million times our typical daily exposure to pesticide residues in foods and give them that dose every day throughout their lifetimes, that would still not be a sufficient level of exposure to cause any noticeable effects. We have a saying in toxicology, it's the dose that makes the poison. It's the amount of the chemical, not its presence or absence, that determines the potential for harm. In the case of pesticides from both organic and conventional food farming, the levels are very tiny and there is not a sufficient dose to cause harm. The important thing for consumers to do is to eat fruits and vegetables, period. Consumers have choices. That's great. If they choose to purchase organic food, that's fine. If they choose to purchase conventional food, that's fine. But let's not lose sight of the fact that the best thing that one can do for their health, for the health of their families, is to consume lots of fruits and vegetables and whole grain, regardless of whether they're organic or conventional.